I'm not so sure there's a, a controversy. I think it's taken us a while to um, gain the literature with a sufficient uh, uh, population sizes to make it very clear that for any given category of BMI, if you have waste, you predict a health outcome better than uh, BMI alone. There may have been those at the beginning who thought that, well, because in a population sample, waist circumference and BMI are correlated, highly correlated between themselves, that the use of one or the other uh, would suffice. But in fact, although there's a correlation, for any given unit of BMI, there's great variation in the waist circumference. And I think we now know that that variation is the very variation that we want to have when we measure someone in clinic, because that variation is what predicts the risks. That's how waist circumference assists BMI in establishing morbidity and mortality risk.